In this video, we're going to look at installing a post processor to Bobcam. Now, a post processor is a unique driver for your machine control. This is what formats the G-code from Bobcad to control your machine. So you'll need to install or locate a proper post processor. Now, the post can be selected from the cam tree under either milling stock or turning stock here. We'll, we could see here we're set up for a laser. Let's go to edit. We'll choose select. And then we get a list of the installed post processors. Bobcam by default does install some post processors. Your machine control may not be listed to there. If it's not, you'll need to download the post processor off the internet. If you do not have internet access on the computer that you have Bobcam, that's not a problem you can download the post to a disk and bring it over to that PC or that machine. Now let's say we want a, a post for a Haas machine. So we'll open our internet and we'll go to bobcad.com forward slash support forward slash posts. This brings us up to a page that has some information about the post processor. Pretty much what a post processor is and what it does. And then it gives us a choice uh, to select a post processor. First, we'll choose what version of software we're installing to. In this case, we'll choose Bobcam. And then we have our machine type. In this case, a Haas would be a mill. And we have a controller make. Now, the mach most post processors are listed by controller, not by machine. In the case of a Haas, it's listed by machine. So you may need to locate either the controller name or the machine name. Typically, you want to look for the controller name first. In this case, let's go to Haas. And we get a, to select which post we're going to choose. Now here we can see that there's many posts for the Haas. There's several for a TM model, or a tool room mill. And then there's several also for a VF. Now we can see that they're labeled slightly differently. Like in this case, we have Haas TM no ATC, no automatic tool change. And then we also have a standard Haas TM Rev1. So this one, the Rev1 will include a tool change. Most of the post processors do by default. And the no ATC is for a machine that doesn't have a tool changer. Let's choose the Haas VF to download. We'll see here we get a preview of the code that will be generated by the post processor so we can see what the format will look like. We'll then choose to download the post. Now, if you do not have internet access on the computer that you're using Bobcad from, you'll need to save the file when you download the post. We get a choice to either run or save. You can save it to a flash drive or USB stick or even a CD or over a network. In this case, though, we're just going to choose run since this is the computer that I want to install to. We'll verify that we do want to run this application, and then it will launch an installer. We'll choose Next, then Install, and we should get a message that says click to finish the installation, or to end the installation. We'll choose Finish, and once we've done this, the post is installed. We'll come back to our Bobcam. Now when we go to select our post, we'll see that the Haas VF is now available. Now, one thing about the post processors, most machines that have the same controller use the same post processor. So if your exact model is not located, say you have a Fnook 6M and you will look for Fnook and there was only a 5, the code will be very similar. So what you want to do is download the closest model to your machine or to your controller and then give that one a try. Now, if the post processor needs modifications after you've installed it, this is included with the purchase of Bobcad. And if you're outside of your 45-day period for free support, a support plan is needed for post modifications for us to do them. But if you want to do the, your own post modifications, also up on our website at the bottom of the post page, our instructions on how to install, how to configure the post processor and how to modify it, it is pretty simple. And also a request form 
for requesting that we make changes to the post. So if you need changes to the post made, go ahead and fill out the form that's online and then send it in to us. And that concludes this video.